Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine McCoy and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for clicking in to drop by, but if you are a returner, it is always nice to have you back. This video, I am going to be doing a recap of the first month of the month of 2024. Yes, I am having to make sure that I catch myself before I say 2023, January. We're going to be talking about the highlights of that month. That way, when I get to the end of 2024, I will have a complete 12 video series that I will be able to play and look back and see what happened in 2024. But before we get too far into this video, if you are not yet subscribed, that is okay. You're going to take your finger, your cursor, go to the bottom right hand corner. There is a big red button that says subscribe. Click that and turn on notifications. That way you will be notified of the rest of the videos that I make about my journey. And my journey pretty much right now does revolve around medical school. I am an M1 medical student at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. And your girl had some really big things happening with school. There are some fun things and then some not some fun things that were happening with school. So we're going to start with the fun things of school. So the fun things. I am on Instagram. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I see that I have a DM. I go and check the DM. It is from the Northwestern Feinberg Instagram page, NU Feinberg Med. And they are reaching out to me, moi, your girl, asking, hey, would you like to do a social media takeover one of these days? And I said, yes, of course. Now this happened like last year, 2023, and we decided, yes, I would do it. We set the date for January 3rd. It's only my third day out here and things are already going really well in the year of 2024. So 2024 was our first day back to school. We get there and I am on and popping. I am doing the social media takeover and you're probably wondering, why did they pick you? How do they know about you enough to decide to reach out to you? Well, I am someone who tags NU Feinberg Med in a lot of my reels and posts that I do because I love my medical school. So that is how they found me and decided to reach out. Now it's January 3rd, I am doing the takeover. I spent a lot of time on Instagram that day. I spent hours, like at least, I'm not sure how many hours I spent specifically on Instagram that day. It was probably somewhere around like four or five. Unfortunately, yes, I was looking at my phone a lot, making sure that things were edited right. And you can probably see over here some of the things that I was posting that day, but I did save all of those posts and they weren't just posts with me in them. I made sure to include many of my classmates in answering the questions that people were asking. There were so many questions. And I also compiled all of those um, Instagram stories into a YouTube video. So if you want to see the complete takeover, that link is going to be in the description. And it was just a very nice thing to be able to do to have my work recognized and to be able to show my love for my medical school. And obviously I made sure to let them know if they ever want me to do it again, I am 100% in. So now we will move on to the less fun side of things as it pertains to school, which is I was coming off of break. I had fully enjoyed my break, which means that I did not study as much as I needed to. And now obviously everything was fine. I'm still in medical school. They didn't kick me out. But those two and a half ish weeks before the exam, they were a little rough. And also there was the fact that we were moving out of our foundations. So foundations are the foundational science, chemistry, biology, math, physics, whatever, that they want you to be able to use when we build upon it in the organ systems. This was our first organ system, the heart. Now, I know a little bit about the heart. I've looked at it before in other classes. So that definitely I felt helped me 
know more and be able to not stress as much. But this was our first organ-based module and I had a lot of things to catch up on when I got back. So January, I was doing a lot of extra studying, a lot of catch up. I did so much catch up that I ended up having my first, like hitting my, at this point still, my highest um, Anki cards in a day, which for me, I was like, wow, I'm really doing it. I had over 1,500 Anki cards that I did in January in one day. So for me, that was a lot. It was over three hours of sitting and just click, click, click doing my Anki. And I also ended up like maintaining that for a pretty good amount of those weeks, which I was very proud of. I also, when we had the exam, I ended up passing flying colors. Everything was perfectly fine. I just had to make sure that I put in the work beforehand. That way it would all turn out how I wanted to for the actual exam. Another one of the highlights of January 2024 was night on call. Now, if you know anything about medicine, you know night on call is not one of the great things about the profession. Night on call in real life means that you are on call waiting for something to happen at the hospital where you will be called in to perform whatever surgery specialty you do. And it typically means that you're not getting good sleep, that you are going to have your life interrupted because you're trying to enjoy dinner with your fiance or something like that. So night on call is not a very inspiring, happy thing, but they decided to flip that on their head and that is the name of medical school prom. Everyone loves prom. Everyone likes being able to get dressed up, do their makeup, do their hair, take your little boo thing to go and eat and dance. So because I am the M1 class president, I got there a little early to be able to help with ushering people in. That way they knew where it is that they were supposed to go. And that was both for like the opening reception time where mostly people were going to the dance floor, but also in the time when everyone had to split up and go to their different rooms across the Drake. The Drake is this amazing, beautiful, ooh la la, luxe, bougie hotel that they have night on call in. And it was very fun. I had a great time. I was looking good and I had a fun time with my friends. Now, here's a little bit of video from Night on Call. Also making some big moves as it relates to my personal interest in ophthalmology. If you follow me and have been for a long time, you know that I am pretty much 100% dedicated to ophthalmology as what it is that I will be applying to residency in at the end of medical school. So I went to an NMRF event and NMRF is essentially the Association for Minority Residents and Faculty Members. They had a essentially a career fair type thing where they had different specialties stationed at different tables and then you could go over and talk 
to the residents and the faculty members that were there. So I went there, I talked with them about my plans for the summer, and I also talked about the fact that I had recently submitted my minority ophthalmology mentoring program application. So that is something that I'm very happy for. And I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping that I got in this month, which currently this video is being filmed and will come out in March. Hopefully I will be able to find out mid March, as it said, when I submitted the application. Um, I'm still waiting but I think it's going to be good. I had a slam dunk letter of recommendation and I really put in a lot of work into my portion of the essay for the application. I was able also to enjoy some of the, um, some of the greenery, despite the fact that it was literally negative 10 degrees one day. I don't know why it is I decided to go out my fingers felt terrible, my toes terrible, everything was on fire even though I was super super cold. I went to the Lincoln Park Observatory. I also got to see some beautiful orchids and those are my most favorite flower. So I made sure to spend a lot of time in that room. And here's a little bit of video from the observatory now. And that's all I have for you for this video. If you are still here, thank you very much for watching all the way to the end of the video. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button, make sure that you like, and if you have any suggestions for what I should do in the city of Chicago, feel free to type that out in the comments. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!